Military leaders from the organization responsible for Army Science and Technology met with researchers and engineers for briefings, tours, and a town hall meeting August 23rd. So you're saying this right here is this, comparable. The this commanding general, awesome. command sergeant major, and deputy to the commanding general of the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command, known as DEVCOM, visited the Adelphi Laboratory Center, home to the Army Research Laboratory. ARL is an element of DEVCOM. I would challenge you to look at the 21st century and say, what is it that you need to be an expert in? Not just what you are an expert in. The general, who took the reins of DEVCOM in a July 2021 ceremony, is meeting with scientists, engineers, and employees from across the organization in his first months as commanding general. He toured laboratory facilities at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, August 4th. So it's important for us to understand uh, respect um, and what that means. During a hands-on tour, the general and his leadership team learned about current research initiatives, including how Army researchers are working toward an invincible lightweight battery. The team developed a more stable energy source that is able to conform to any shape and size. They even physically cut the batteries, dropped them in water, and conducted ballistic tests. Command Sergeant Major Brian D. Barker assumed responsibility as the DEVCOM senior enlisted advisor June 21, 2021. Well, I think my goals, uh, you know, first off is, uh, is being able to tell the story of, of everything that, that uh, DEVCOM is doing, uh, really to the rest of the Army, so they can know all the great efforts that, you know, that are, are being done by this, this team and all these centers across the country, uh, especially through, the, through, through COVID. Uh, nothing's really slowed down. You know, what we've done is we've adapted and, and overcome the challenges, uh, and, and I don't want that to be, be lost uh, on our Army. Barker said he thinks science and technology advances will aid future soldiers. Well, I think really, you know, re reducing the burden on a soldier uh, as far as the, uh, the, the weight that, uh, that we carry. We continue to, to come up with things that, uh, to, to augment them, but uh, it adds weight. Uh, and I'm really a big proponent for reducing that weight uh, on our soldiers. The team will continue to meet with other Army researchers and employees from across DEVCOM in the coming weeks and months. For the soldier on the ground, I want to be able to, to help them move further, fight harder, uh, and, and, uh, and be able to, to sustain themselves for, for longer durations uh, in combat and ultimately uh, survive. For the Army Research Laboratory, I'm Dave McNally.